Welcome back to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. You know, I did make a mistake. I was mentioning all the hunting seasons. Of course, you can woodchuck hunt right now, and there's crows that you could do on the weekends. And don't forget, coyotes, very liberal season in the state of Pennsylvania. Only a couple of days that you can hunt them. And I'm going to tell you, get out and try to control these critters. They're out there like crazy. We're going to go back to Zoo America, and we're going to talk to Tom Keller. Now, the state of Pennsylvania has always been initiating programs to bring back animals lost over the years, whether it's elk, whether it's deer, whether it's turkey. Of course, we also reintroduced the otter and the fisher and other animals. So now Tom is in charge of a program that's looking at possibly reintroducing the pine marten. Let's go back to Zoo America. So it's not as simple as a couple of guys sitting around having a coffee saying, hey, let's catch some Martins and let them go. It's a real process. It and, is. and at what point are we now in the state of Pennsylvania in the process of possible reintroduction? Yeah, that's a good question. And it's important to understand it is a long-term process. We've been working on this for a year and a half. This was part of our strategic plan. And as part of that, we developed a feasibility assessment. And then we moved on to the next step, which is the reintroduction and management plan, which is what we're currently working on. And this is a 10-year plan that outlines exactly how would we reintroduce Martin if we decided to move forward. And then what does long-term monitoring look like into the future? And then after we get that done, we're going to move that out for public review and comment. Because Pennsylvania wildlife belongs to all Pennsylvanians. And so everyone should have an opportunity to kind of weigh in on that management, particularly for a decision like this. And then once that plan's complete, we bring that back to our Board of Commissioners, and then they would vote to decide whether to move forward with reintroduction or not. So are we a year away from it or two or three years away from uh, it? Good question. So as far as that decision-making process, we'll be hopefully rolling this out for public review and comment in July or August. That's when that plan is due is in July. And that'll be a 60-day review period. We bring that back and then hopefully get that final draft back to our board at the January meeting in 2024 at the earliest and that's where they make a decision. As far as if they would decide to move forward with reintroduction, we would still be a year or two out before we'd actually see Martin on the ground, just because of how much collaboration it takes and how much uh, time it would take to start to work with these partners in other states and provinces. Now, I know it's not on paper yet, but in your mind, are we talking about any specific area getting them, getting them from, mm -hmm. and how many do you think you'd be putting into the state of Pennsylvania right from the get-go? Yeah, so we developed a suitability model that we mentioned, and, and where that suitability or our most optimal habitat is really when we think of the PA wilds up into the Allegheny National Forest, and then extending into the northeast up onto the ridges just west of Wilkes-Barre Scranton. Like so Game Lands 57, that's right. 13. Exactly, yep, yep. And so those are some of the areas we would focus on. Again, we haven't set specific locations, but we're working with those partners like DCNR and the U.S. Forest Service uh, to try to, to develop those partnerships where we could potentially do that. And then as far as how many animals we need, we know for a self-sustaining population in Pennsylvania, we need between 50 to 60 animals for that, or individuals for that self-sustaining population. And so just for one subpopulation, we would need that. We would likely look at potentially doing something like we did with otter or like we did with fisher, where we'd start several subpopulations within that suitable habitat. And they're everywhere now. I'm getting reports that fishers are everywhere. Absolutely. And it was a very a tight-knit community that was released, and they spread out. Absolutely, yep, yep, yeah. They, they find that suitable habitat, and they occupy as much of that as they can. And, and we've seen that with fisher. We've seen that with otter. We're seeing otter, the first otter spotted up in Presque Isle. We see otter down in Philadelphia. So, yeah, we've seen great success with that kind of a model. We also have a lot of great resources available. So we've got a story map, we've got videos, webinars, we've got brochures, lots of handouts, anything we can do to help educate the public on this animal because it's been gone for over 120 years. And all that information on the website, the Game Commission website? You can find it all on our website, yep. And you promise to keep us posted. I will, yes, Our absolutely. audience is going to get behind this. Absolutely, absolutely. So here's where it sits in front of the Pennsylvania Game Commission. So they had a meeting in the spring and they were supposed to vote on it, but then they realized there's a public opinion poll out there, a survey that they wanted to make sure was over and they took a look at it. The first two surveys, including the Pine Martin, were positive, let's reintroduce it. So now they're waiting to get the third one. The Pennsylvania Game Commission meets 
in September, it, it, the September 15th and 16th, and who knows, maybe if they have that poll, maybe then it could take the next step. We'll let you know if that happens. We're gonna take a short break and we'll be right back.